of all patients in the first study that we now are in the Tehran. Before going to the treatment of uh, PKU in, in Turkey especially, just this question, why is Turkey an issue in relation to PKU? I see. Because the number of the patients with genetically determined diseases are quite high in Turkey. We don't know the exact reason, but it is somehow due to high rate of consanguineous marriages. So if you look at our patient population, majority have PKU. So, and as a single center, we have more than 1,000 patients under our care. Of course, there are some other centers. If you consider the patients under their care, the number would be huge. Yeah. So relatively high number of patients. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. But not only for PKU, for other inborn areas of metabolism too. Okay. And let's say, how modern is uh, the care for these patients in ah, Turkey? I see. I should say it's modernized. But the only problem is uh, the number of the centers taking care of such patients is limited. Most of these centers are located in the big provinces like Istanbul, Ankara and Izmir. Now we are trying to establish new centers in the remote areas of Turkey. I think we are the first in Europe to accept metabolism as a subspecialty of pediatrics. We accept pediatricians and uh, we train them for about three years. At the end of the three years, uh, they will have an exam, they prepare a thesis, and then they become a metabolic physician or metabolic pediatrician. They can come us after the specialization in pediatrics. So year by year, number of such fellows are increasing and they will be sent to the remote areas of Turkey and there will be better care of patients with PKU. Fine, so you will have the professionals uh, yeah. to work with, yes. but do you also have the, 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 the good medicine, like Kuvan in Turkey, do you use it? Yes, since we when? use it uh, since the very beginning, you know, and some of the intelligence families are also surfing on the internet and they come across with the name of Kuvan and then they ask uh, about Kuvan and they would like to have their children tested and if possible, they would like to switch to Kuan. So, very, from the very beginning, and we have organized many meetings on the use of saproptyrin in uh, PKU patients. And some of them are localized meetings, and uh, some of them were in the past, you know, uh, international meetings. And so how about, let's say, your, your experience with testing these, these, yeah. uh, these patients? Is it easy or maybe complicated? No, it's easy. We don't need to hospitalize these patients. You know, it, took about, it takes about, let's say, uh, at least three days. So they spend three days in Ankara at our unit to be tested. Of course, if they are living in Ankara, it's no problem. If they are living in Istanbul, no problem. But if they are coming from you know, remote areas of Turkey, uh, it is somehow difficult for them to spend three days in Ankara or three days in Istanbul. A very practical issue. Yeah. But people were willing yes, to, they are to, very to much get willing. tested. Yes. Okay. okay. And no problem also to introduce Kuvan? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, from the Ministry of Health point of view, no problem. If you give them, uh, you know, sufficient number of the literature to convince them, they usually accept it and the total cost of current treatment is reimbursed by the government. So what, to your opinion, is, th is the, the, the biggest challenge in Turkey? Uh, the biggest challenge, I think, the, the problem of, uh, you know, uh, the experience centers, lack of experience centers in this field. And that's why we are organizing such meetings to increase their awareness and to establish new centers. As you know, Kuan not only used in uh, BH4 responsive patients, but also BH4 deficient patients. So we would like 
to establish a laboratory for the detection of such cases. We established this laboratory and in collaboration with the Ministry of Health from now on all patients with hyperphenylalanemia uh, would be screened for BH4 deficiencies. This is one of the challenging problem because we diagnose such cases late just based on the signs and symptoms. It, uh, it would be too late to uh, reverse some of the you know changes in the central nervous system. Screening in the first few days is very important. Yeah, there is a nationwide screening for PKU but not for BH4 metabolism defects. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome.